This is the beginning of the rush exam, starting with the heart. So we have a parasternal long axis view. And you'll notice that there is a large right ventricle here. You'll notice there is no pericardial effusion. And you'll notice that there's a normal left ventricular ejection fraction because the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve is touching the septum. We move to the short axis view. You'll notice that there's still a large right ventricle, a flattened interventricular septum, and the D sign of the left ventricle here. Moving to the AP4 chamber view, you'll notice that the RV still is large, but the most prominent feature here is what we call the apical wink. It's a hypercontractile RV apex that looks like it's winking at you. And you'll notice the free wall of the RV over here is not moving as well as we'd expect, which is also known as the tapsy, so that is depressed. This is consistent with McConnell's sign, uh, the combination of these two findings. The IVC is plethoric, does not vary with respiration here, which is typically not seen in sepsis. And finally, if we move to the legs, this is an abbreviated version of the DVT exam, but you'll notice complete, complete compression of the vein here. And then if we move to the popliteal fossa, you'll notice that the popliteal vein has a uh, thrombosis in it.